What's up, everybody? This is Chris, and this is my channel, Bar None 11970. And yes, you are not dreaming. There are two videos in one day. Uh, first off, I wanted to say welcome to all the new subscribers. We are one shy of 16,000. That is amazing. I mean, especially since I haven't made as many videos as I'd like recently. So I thank you for the patience. I'm sure people have been watching plenty of my videos, so thank you for that. One of the things I want to talk about, and I've said this in so many videos, and I was making a discussion with somebody on my Facebook page, Barn on 11970, so check that out if you want to like that page. Um, when it comes to perception, what is really good and what is really bad? Because he was talk we were talking a little bit about religion, and I was talking about religion in the aspect of, well, if there is a singular uh, consciousness, and they, we call it God, the God that we all assume it is. Well, people say evil is done by a person or an individual or an angel called Lucifer. Well, if, quote-unquote, God created all things, then he had to have created Lucifer, wouldn't he have? Which makes you wonder, why? And if there is a purpose, that means there's meaning behind it. Because what is good and what is bad is all based on perception. Because if you understand what the word Lucifer is, it's basically false light. And if you study meditation at all, they're always talking about entering the void, entering the silence, the darkness. So is dark really bad and is light always really good? And I think people have to comprehend that life is what you choose it to be, your own perception of what you see. For example, a fire a fire can cook your food. That's a benefit. That's a positive thing. A fire can also burn you alive. That is a negative thing. But does that make that fire good or evil, even though it can do both? The same with water. You use water to drink to stay alive. That is a positive thing. Too much water you can drown and die. That's a negative thing. So again, is water good or evil? Or is it just in how we use things, how we perceive things, and realizing that everything due to free will is nothing more than your perception and interpretation of whatever is before you, for you to learn something to progress to another level? Because as you notice, the subscribers that come here that do research and do their, their learning lessons and improve in life are always changing. And the ones that come here just for the hatred and the insults and all the silly things, well, they're the same people that have been here since my old channel, Bar None 11967, that I started about three or four years ago. In other words, they stay the same. So who is really hurting because of their own choice. What governments do and what quote-unquote leaders have done throughout history is could be bad or evil depending on what side you're on. But if we choose to allow it, then is it their fault or is it ours? And that's something that most people do not want to think about, the responsibility of their own actions or inactions. So when some form of government throughout history has done something that, quote-unquote, we the people deem unfair, well, just complaining about it doesn't change it. Your perception is based on where you are. Some people spend ne their time with negativity because it's entertaining for them. Some people earn a living off of it. So is it really bad, according to their own perception, to go to somebody else's YouTube channel and try and discredit and insult them repeatedly if they're profiting from it or gaining just a sense of sensibility for themselves. There's always justification in everything that we do. But the truth is the truth based on your own perception, your own belief system, how far you are willing to be programmed based on what other people instill within you. And you become more and more of a follower instead of a leader. 
So what I think and say may be different from what you think and say, but that doesn't mean my truth is any different from yours or it's negative or, or positive. It's just my perception of what I feel is. And when people understand that there really is no good and bad, it's just positive and negative. It's the yin and the yang. It's the opposite. It's all geared towards learning something. When you burn your hand on a stove, complaining about it doesn't change the feeling and the pain and the injury, but it can prevent you, hopefully, to, do, to keep yourself from doing it again because you learn from the experience. Again, hopefully. The ones who learn are the ones that grow, that expand, that have variety in their life, that choose to elevate. The ones that keep doing the same thing over and over again, it's the difference between a stream and a pond. A stream is always clear because the water is always moving. A pond tends to be full of guck and cloudy water because it stays stagnant and does not move anywhere. It's all about choice. Do you choose to do the right thing, the wrong thing, or nothing? And good and bad is only based on your own perception of it. One person can view something as good, while somebody can see the exact same thing and see it as bad. It all depends on if you profit from it, if you benefit from it, if you get injured from it, it's all perspective. Because as much as we hate what the banks and governments are doing, if you're making tons of money off of those people doing the very things that most people are hating, well, you're loving it, aren't you? So is it evil? When somebody calls somebody a traitor, it's based on where they are. If you were, and let's just assume that the Nazis were bad, I, they, I've seen, heard so many different things, but that's not what this video is about. Let's just assume, most people assume that they're bad, so we'll just leave it at that for argument's sake. Well, if you decided that the Nazis were bad and you left them to go to the other side, you would be called a traitor, wouldn't you? Well, is traitor a bad thing? Well, not if you're on the side that you just moved to. But it would be a bad thing, according to the Nazis. So again, it's all perception. So good and bad is based on what you think about it. And what you do affects where you go. Doing nothing guarantees you go nowhere. Doing something doesn't guarantee it, but at least it gives you the ability to potentially move on. That's all a choice. So if you appreciate these kind of videos, give this a thumbs up and share it and think about it. And think about the good and the evil. God versus Satan. Is it really just all straight good and evil? Or is there more to it on a deeper level? And not everybody's going to ever reach that deeper level. But again, it's based on choice. And I hope you choose to do whatever it is that makes you happy and also choose to stop the things that you do not like because it is in your power to do everything just as much as it is to do nothing. This is Chris. This is my channel, Barn on 11970. Thank you for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't. Be our 16,000th subscriber and be a part of this channel. Have a great night.